Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about what is the most private VPN in 2025? What VPN truly does care about your privacy and shows it with verifiable information? So we made a little bit of a system here though, um, and we'll show you that here in a second. But if you guys wanna help support the channel, if you like any of these VPNs mentioned in this video, I'll be putting links in the description down below. Some of those are affiliate links. If you click on those links, you'll get a discount and a free month. It'll help support the channel. But if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. This video is not sponsored by any of these VPNs. And if you don't purchase the VPN with the link, I will make no money. And this channel also doesn't really do sponsorships. So there you go as well. That's a win-win for both of us. But guys, also, <clears throat> let's go ahead and check out what my little thing here is. So here is my little list of, I think, what makes a really good VPN for privacy in 2025. And we're going to be seeing, you know, some of the VPNs out there that people might be thinking about for privacy and, you know, how many of these things they can really get for each one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So guys, so the first thing we're going to look at is a no log audit for 2025. If a VPN can already have this, that's a very good sign uh, because, you know, 2025, it's only three months in. And if a VPN already has done a no log audit, that is a very good sign showing they don't collect logs on you and you're safe to use it for your privacy. So out of all the VPNs I've kind of been checking out, um, some of the most private ones people talk about, NordVPN is the only one to do a no log audit this year. And as fact, February 2025. Um, so this is very nice to see. It was all also audited by Delote Audit in Lithuania. It's a very good audit firm, an independent team of researchers to perform assurance report on configuration and no logs claims. So this is very impressive from NordVPN. Definitely a very solid thing for not collecting logs. Very, very important for privacy not to collect logs because if you're collecting logs, what's the point of even using a VPN right? So another thing people might be talking about for a private VPN, maybe um, something like Molvad VPN. Uh, Molvad VPN just did a security audit and kind of privacy audit last year. But as far as I know right now, there is not a current one for 2025. So they don't meet the same kind of criteria that NordVPN has already done. Additionally, ProtonVPN, another VPN highly regarded for privacy, also has not done one this year yet. Last time they did one was around July 18th. So these are still pretty private VPNs, but I don't think they are as private as Nord or as um, transparent, at least with the no log policy as of right now. But they probably will do the one this year. It's just Nord is kind of leading the curve right now. So I would say uh, for this one, Nord is definitely uh, the winner because it's just done the most recent one. So we could put that right there for Nord. Next up, a good bug bounty program. Now, what is a bug bounty program? Basically, it's a way for hackers to kind of pen test VPNs and get paid for it in a reputable way, not breaking the law or anything like that. VPNs will award people for kind of showing them bugs and how to fix them and so on. This is generally good for your privacy and security because it makes the VPN more secure at large. And it's definitely one of the best things to see from a VPN, having an active and transparent bug bounty program. So we could take a look at some of these other examples. Again, Molvad does have a Molvad does have a bug bounty program, um, but for this one specifically, um, it's just a pretty basic page. There's not really much information about how much payments are made or have the transparency of reports going on. Proton also has a bug bounty program. This one's a little bit better, I think, than Molvad's because it does offer payment um, kind of transparency with payments. Um, but again, you're not really seeing too much transparency here with the bugs, um, how many are being issued and so forth. So once again, I do think NordVPN actually wins here because they use HackerOne. And this, in my opinion, is the best bug bounty program to kind of show community how transparent things are. You can see the time to respond to bounties, average time to try Azure bounties, average time to bounty. Um, so you could also see the different payouts. You can also see the amount of bounties paid. So I think this is a good, really good, and probably the best bug bounty program I've seen from any VPN to kind of show, um, you know, what's going on with NordVPN's bug bounty program. You could see quite a big list here of all the things going on, which is very, very nice. And it's a much better bug bounty program for transparency and privacy security, in my opinion, and just kind of objectively than the other two, as I mentioned. So in this category, I would also say that NordVPN wins here uh, for being very transparent and having the best bug bounty program. Next up, we can see which VPN has the most updates. Now, I truly believe having a lot of updates means VPN is going to be more secure, more up to date, 
more bugs are going to be fixed and so forth. So let's go ahead and check out some of the, um, the updates and how many of these applications being updated and how often we're going to kind of count it, I guess. So I think a pretty good way of doing this is simply going into the iOS application because iOS, um, kind of makes it very easy and their website makes it very easy to see how often a VPN is up to date, um, or updated. So let's go ahead and see for 2025 who's winning. Uh, right now, Nord has one, two, three, four updates for this year, which is pretty good. Um, Molvad um, has one, two. So more uh, Nord still has more updates. Um, Proton has not updated their iOS application this year, which is not quite as good. So again, in this category, I think Nord also wins for um, just having more updates. So we'll put that here. Um, Nord had... Or VPN 2025 at four, uh, Molvad at two, Proton VPN had zero. We could go ahead and check out 2024 too, if that's what you want to see. Um, for Nord, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. 19 updates for 2025. So let's go ahead and put that right there. 20, 2025 updates, NordVPN has 19 updates. Wow, that is quite a bit. Um, Nord is 19, so we'll put that like that. And then let's go ahead and count Molvad. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, wait, hold on, restart. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, which is pretty good. So Molvad has 11, not quite as much as Nord, but let's check out Proton now. So we'll go here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So uh, yeah, looks like Proton actually had more updates in uh, 2020, 2024 uh, than uh, Molvad, which is interesting, but Molvad has had more updates in 2025. So yeah, I would still say Nord is clearly winning here and they have the most updated application, which generally is better for security and privacy at large. Having more up to dates uh, application is always very good in this industry. So guys, another thing is transparency reports, which for these VPNs do transparency reports. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Nord, <clears throat> As far as I know, Nord is the only one to do transparency reports. As you can see here, they started listing them actually just late last year. So this is very nice to see DMCA requests and stuff like that. I don't think that Molvad does do transparency reports. I've found information they don't do them. So now uh, Proton does seem to do transparency reports. Um, it was last updated on September. So I would say here, um, Proton and Nord are at a tie and Molvad is weaker because they don't do transparency reports, which I do think is a cool little thing to have. So this one, I would say that Nord, VPN and Proton tied, Molvad, no transparency reports. Another important thing we could talk about is trackers on the websites and stuff like that. Generally for a VPN, you want less trackers on the website, you want less tracking overall. Um, so most of these VPNs out there, they're not really selling your data or anything like that unless it's a VP, uh, a free VPN provider. They use a lot of uh, sold data. Um, if VPNs do have trackers on the website like that, it's probably just for uh, bug testing and stuff like that um, or making sure that the website is generating sales by the way it's laid out. So let's go ahead and check a look at that. So here we go. We're going to look at Proton VPN's website and see if it has any trackers or anything on it that's nefarious or, you know, not really nefarious, but, you know, not optimal. So blacklight markup tool is a good tool. So nothing found here, which is really, really what you want to see for optimal. Molvad also has nothing. Now NordVPN is going to have something here. This is going to be probably their weaker section. Um, doesn't seem to be working with this one right now. Um, let me try again. So sometimes this website isn't the best. Sometimes it kind of gets laggy. It doesn't work for specific things, but there's also other ways to test out how many trackers are on the website. We can just go directly to the website itself. Um, and according to, um, 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 uBlock origin, Nord has like one Google ad manager thing, Google tag manager or something like that. Um, due to, you know, probably using Google analytics or something like that. So overall, um, it's not really doing too much here. Nothing really that concerning. Uh, uBlock origin doesn't really seem too concerned. So that is definitely pretty good, but overall, um, uh, let's see uh, how Proton does with this. Uh, Proton has, uh, it has some kind of Google thing as well. 
um, but um, the markup had better results there. Um, and this one is also using some kind of Google thing here. Um, but overall, I would say that um, from my experience, it seems like Nord has used a little bit more tracking kind of analytic trackers um, in the past, but you know, they all seem to be kind of using and getting similar results on uh, uBlock Origin. So not really a big deal here. Um, I would say it's more of a tie. You might see more people talking about this one um, in general, saying like, this is the reason not to use NOR because it's tracking on their website or their applications. But again, they're all kind of using some kind of analytics there on their website to kind of to see how much traffic the website is getting. And there really isn't too much difference with these VPNs. So they're not really selling this data or anything like that, not collecting logs to sell it away, just using it for internal testing, verifying users, uh, accounts and things like that. So in my opinion, this one, not really uh, a clear winner here in this category. Now, some of the other things you might see people talking about that I don't believe are super important to privacy and security um, is stuff like Molvad VPN. Is It's kind of known for having this anonymous account creation system. But in my opinion, this isn't too much of a deal because with any VPN, you can use a Tutanota email account, which by the way, I'll put a link for that in the description down below. It's my favorite encrypted email provider right now. Um, you could use the Tutanota anonymous email, sign up within these VPNs, use various cryptocurrencies, and for all intents and purposes, it's an anonymous account creation with that email provider. Um, Molvad just makes it so you don't really need to input an email and you could just kind of set it up like slightly quicker. Um, but is it more anonymous? Not really. I would just say it's a little bit more faster to kind of get an account set up with Molvad, which is kind of a cool advantage. But if this video we're talking about privacy and security, I don't believe it has a huge advantage, um, especially if you're already familiar with how to use stuff like to note to encrypted emails and private emails and stuff like that. So guys, in summation, who is the clear winner here? Well, I would say that NordVPN actually is the winner. They have a more recent no log audit in 2025. The bug bounty program is a little bit more transparent and um, better, I think, than the other offerings, although they all probably kind of achieve the same end results. If we're talking about updates, Nord has the most in 2025, the most in 2024. Um, in terms of transparency reports, Movad doesn't offer one, but Nord and Proton do. In terms of trackers, they're all pretty much similar. Nord might have a slightly more on their applications and website if you're kind of using different different tools. But uBlock Origin is showing that none of the websites are really tracking you like most other websites do, and there's nothing nefarious going on. Molvad might have the most convenient account creation system, but it's not necessarily more private or anonymous as long as you're familiar with encrypted email and various cryptocurrencies that you can use pretty much in every VPN. And you'd have to use a Molvad anyways if you really want to do it the right way. So overall, I would say in this kind of analysis, I would say that Nord is the clear winner. Proton might be second and Molvad third. So guys, let me know what you thought of this video and I'll see you again very soon.